Hi guys, it's just me, V. I'm back again real quick. I wanted to share this with you. I was going to try and enter an envelope challenge, um, but, you know, doing what I was started to do in this room, I, I can't get to nothing again, but I will soon. So I ended up not getting to do it, but I thought, well, how can I do an envelope that's kind of different and I got a great idea for it but unfortunately I can't follow through but in the process of me cleaning up this hot mess that's going on here um, well it's not a hot mess now but in the process of going through my things in my room some of the things that I went through were my doilies or that I'm going through and get de-stashing and so let me find the one that I started out with where did I put it Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I ironed these real quick. And, of course, you know, they're just folded up doilies. You know, nothing too grand. But as I was folding them, um, now, I'm going to call this a V-fold. To me, it's kind of like the shape of a V. I'm sure there's somebody out there has something similar to it. This is just what I wanted to share. And I hope you like it. If you don't, that's okay too. But anyway, let me share with you. Now, I'm going to have to put this down in order to show you. So, oh, this computer. Okay. So, this is just a simple napkin. It's folded in half and then it's folded upward and this is what I was doing and I have to come back and show you the one that I did with the paper now there's a reason why I also wanted to do something with paper for a project I was working on so as you get it you flip it down towards the corner now there's a lady on YouTube who has created this corner flip and, and that's all it is it, it's just a corner flip on the corner of a junk journal and you flip it up and you can write and do whatever so that's awesome well um, that's not where this inspired me it was the way that I had folded it and what happened was I actually dropped some of these and they a couple of them landed like this and I was like oh my gosh that's really cute so, um, if you fold it to the edge right there, then bring the, set, the other one and fold it towards that one, and then bring that one and fold it towards that one, and then bring it towards there. You now have a, what I'm calling, a V fold, and, and I've lost my flower. I knew that was going to happen. Whoops, what I do with my flower? Well, goodness gracious me. I done lost it. Hmm. Okay, I'll just use this one right here. So, if you put this in a lace book, some of us like to mix um, material with paper in a journal, which is really cool. So that's what you can do with this. Now, looking at it like that, yes, it's pretty, but you can also add a flower, add some little sprays, whatever, and put it in the corner of your book or put it in your book like that. And now I'm just going to use whatever I got here. I don't have a tag. I need a tag. Where's the tag? What's this? Oh, I'll use this. So in the V fold, when you glue it coming down this way and this way, the shape of a V, it gives you a pocket in your um, journal. And so if you do it out of material, you can tuck something in there. And I know it's really hard to see that with it down, but it gives you the option of tucking it in there. So then you've got one pocket there, so it's a V-fold pocket. 
Well, then, after the you've got your embellishment there, you pick it up, and it gives you another little pocket to put little notes or a photo. or Then you lift it up again, and you have another one. Then you lift it up again, and you have another one. And then when you lift the last fold, you have an area to put a photo or whatever you want. Or you don't even have to lift this last one. Leave it facing down and um, go from there. So this is the V fold pocket. Love it. So now let me show you real... Excuse me. I did... I pulled out some of these doilies or uh, handkerchiefs and they're too flimsy. They don't work. Um, even something like this. And here's the other thing and I'll show it to you over here on this side. You could do it with this but I just don't like the way it all blends in. It looks too... Oops. Too much the same. I guess I could work with it, but I didn't like this one. And so, the same thing with these vintage um, hankies. They don't work. Now, look at this vintage hanky. It works rather nicely. Some will, I guess some won't. Um, so, it's the same process. It gives you, when you glue it in the V, it gives you a pocket. You flip it, a pocket. You flip it, another pocket, you flip it, another pocket, and then you have the center. So you've got one, two, three, four pockets doing this. And of course, again, you can put an embellishment, whatever. Then I have this doily, and it's kind of an odd-shaped doily. It's got these flowers on the corner. But I thought, well, let me see what that looks like. So folding it in half, then folding it up, um, you bring that corner down. Oops, got it a little crooked there. And here's another thing. You don't want to go so um, pull this down so low because then it, it messes up the, the edges. So then you just keep bringing your little things down and look how pretty that looks. And again, there's a pocket. You can embellish it, do whatever you want. Okay, then I had this one that only the corners had doilies. And so even this one looks really cute when you bring them all down. Look at that. And you have all the same pockets. You have a pocket in the back. And this one would be cute if you put a flower on each one. So that's a, a cute little way to do it. And then, I believe these are a bun wrap. It's an odd shaped. But, making sure that your edge is facing, the, the right side is facing up, put them together, and then you're going to flip it over and make sure that the, not, the side you want to show on the very top is facing down. So once you've got that, you're going to fold it up, and look how it does a weird shape, but it's kind of cool. So again, bringing it down into them little creases and the other corners all have that on it only this one has that <clears throat> but when you bring it down look how pretty and it still gives you all of them beautiful pockets so um, <clears throat> a, a V fold pocket and then I have this one Oops. and it's got the crocheted on the edges Again, it's fold it over and then fold it up and doing the same thing on all of the edges. And again, you can keep it this way so that it's kind of like an L, 
or do it like this in the center of your book for a pocket page and you've now got um, three wait no one one two three four pockets so and then again you know where I put my flower I done lost it there it is and then you know putting your little embellishments whatever you want to do so it's another nice way of making a pocket and then there's this one and this one has that pretty little edging right there again you know it's it's and this one's like I think a really fancy um, napkin it's embroidered and so again I just folded it over I flip the part I want to see down there facing downward folded it again and it gives me the square and as you start bringing it down look how pretty that is and you get all of them pockets and all of them layers and then of course you can still embellish it and it's still just as pretty so I'm gonna stop here with you and um, cause I don't want my video to be too long and then I'll come back and share with you the paper one okay be right back guys bye